hi my name's Jodie and welcome to a weekend reading vlog so I've never actually done a weekend reading vlog before so this will be kind of fun to do but I just thought why not spend an entire weekend reading as much books as I possibly can we're over halfway through the month now and I'm not really happy with the progress of my November TBR I have read quite a lot of books this month but a lot of them weren't actually on my TBR which is really annoying so I figured this would be a good way to fit in some more reads and maybe spend some time reading a couple of books that are on my TBR. So, I have a very, very large stack of books that are going to be on this kind of weekend TBR. But obviously I don't expect to read all of these this weekend. This is my TBR for the weekend. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very, very big TBR for the weekend. Um, but let me explain first. So, I have two mangas on here. Now, neither of these I don't think were on my TBR for this month, but I do want to read them anyway. So, yeah, I have mentioned these in a previous vlog, and I'm just hoping I can either read a big chunk of them this weekend or maybe even finish one. So, Death Note, I started in my last vlog. I haven't made any more progress on it yet, but I would like to maybe either read this whole thing or at least get halfway through. So I'm planning to do that this weekend. And then I also want to make a start on Orange because this is one I've been meaning to get to for the longest time. And I just know I'm going to really enjoy this. So I would like to read at least a third of this this weekend if I can. So hopefully I can do that as well. If I can finish one of those, then that'd be great. But we shall see next is shadow of night by deborah harkness so i don't plan to read this entire thing i literally plan to read at least one chapter <laughs> that's it just one single chapter i just want to make a start on this book i really do need to get this read then i want to make some good progress or even finish my current read which is the invisible life of adi larue i'm actually less than 100 pages into this um, i am tapping and annotating it so it does usually take me a bit longer to read a book when i'm doing that but i would like to at least get halfway through this or even finish it i doubt i'll finish it but if I can read half of this, then I'll be very, very happy because this was on my TBR. It's one of my most anticipated releases and I just really, really want to get stuck into it. And then next is my current audiobook, which is A Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. So I'm currently about four chapters in, maybe a bit more. I do plan to try and finish this this weekend. So hopefully I can do that. I think I have like 10 hours or 12 hours of audio to listen to. So it is a lot, but it is doable. And I do listen to it on at least two times speed. This was not on my November TBR, but it was, however, on my lockdown TBR. So if I can finish this, then I will be a very, very happy person because yeah, I really want to get through this series and what I have listened to so far is just really fun and interesting and I really like Morrigan, she's just quite funny. Yeah, I'm hoping to listen to this whole book this weekend. Then I saw this book on my friend Jodie's Instagram. Her Instagram is Witching Reading. if you want to go and follow her, she's really lovely. Um, but she actually put this up on her Instagram page and I was so intrigued by the cover and I was also curious because my nan's actually a big fan of this author's children's books. So I was really intrigued when I heard that there was a graphic novel. Um, so I looked into it and I read some reviews and it just sounded like something I'd adore. And the art looked amazing inside and you all know I like my graphic novels. So I ordered this and it finally arrived and I just, I'd like to read it this weekend if I can because it just looks so good. This is Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. So this is just loads of stories. I think there might be like five short stories in here. Absolutely obsessed with this cover. Look how stunning this is. But yeah, I really want to read this this weekend. And then I have one more graphic novel I'd like to read, which was on my November TBR, and that is Fence Volume 1. So, hopefully I can finish a couple of these, make good progress on some. This is just a weekend that is all about making good reading progress. So hopefully I can definitely do that. But yeah, a lot of books to try and get through. I do also plan this weekend to have a kind of festive weekend. So I want to wrap some Christmas presents. I want to write some Christmas cards, watch some Christmas movies, maybe do a bit of Christmas baking. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I do have these gorgeous green Christmas baubles, so I am going to put these on my tree as well. I'm just going to have a cosy reading weekend and I'm very, very excited for it. So we're going to start this nice cosy reading vlog off with making a nice hot chocolate. So here comes hot chocolate content. <laughs>
done much reading at all so i'm not off to a great start i ended up journaling for like an hour or so and then i had to go to blackout poetry for the first time and it actually turned out really really well and it was really really fun so yeah i ended up doing journal instead and i did actually read this one so i have finished one book so far which is through the woods by emily carroll um so this is just a collection of short stories in kind of like a graphic novel format and i absolutely love this i've gave it five stars because it was really unique and they were kind of those kind of stories that end with no clear sort of ending it's kind of still open to like your interpretation of it and i just really loved it i really love a lady's hands are cold and i liked this one as well yeah i like the wolf one at the end it was super short but it was just like i really really liked it it's just really cool had these really really nice illustrations and the wolf looked really cool as well um yeah i just i really really enjoyed this so i just decided to give it five stars because it was quite unique um, and i'm really glad i read it so at least i've read one thing so far but my plan now is i'm getting a headache like i had in my last vlog and i don't know if it's just because of the lights and stuff from filming or whatever um but i'm gonna take my makeup off and get into bed and read and annotate some more of Adi LaRue. i've got myself a cup of tea as well so i'm just gonna get cozy in bed and do a bit of reading so i probably won't update you guys now till tomorrow just because i'm really tired um but tomorrow will be a full day of reading and hopefully a lot of progress so i will update you guys then <laughs> hi so today is saturday i don't really have that many reading updates i am now 12 chapters into nevermore so i'm gonna update my bookmark actually so i'm now roughly on page 167 so i am nearly halfway through this now i'm listening to this on audio still i'm really really enjoying it it's so fun absolutely love jupiter he is absolutely hilarious like he's just so i don't know i love him he's weird and he's crazy and i love him um so yeah i'm really really enjoying this so far it's really really funny i do think the kind of parts of it are quite complex for a children's book i don't know if that's just me but i do think that there is like an element of complexity to this but yeah i'm really really enjoying it it's really fun so far i haven't done any other reading i was going to read some more of Adi larue last night before bed but then i had to import all my footage and before i knew it, it was like 2am and i was just so tired um, so I haven't actually done any proper reading. I'm just going to take my glasses off because the light's reflecting. But yeah, I haven't actually done any proper reading except for listening to my audiobook. But I have been journaling this morning, which is the main reason why I'm hardly getting any reading done because I keep just spending hours journaling. A little spread for Through the Woods because I really enjoyed it. Um, and it just looks like this here. Did this like little spread. I just wrote some thoughts about it and things like that. And then I started doing a little page for Nevermore. So hopefully I will finish that um this weekend and then i'm just gonna write some quick little like thoughts here but i just did this like little little page here i've been journaling pretty much all morning and some other things but yeah i'm almost halfway through this so i guess that's not too bad progress i'm hoping that i will finish this tomorrow but yeah i think for now i'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea and then i think i might actually sit and read some of adi larue because like i said i really need to make some progress with that book so yeah i will catch up with you guys in a little while okay so i actually have some book mail to show you guys so i'm gonna quickly show you that now because it just arrived and i'm very excited about some of these so the other day i watched spirited away for the first time and i absolutely loved it it was so cute so fun so i ordered um the art or spirited away um you can get these for all the studio ghibli's films and i do plan to collect all of these i really want Howl's moving castle um but this is the first one that i've got so far and i just yeah i thought i'd show it because it's just stunning so it looks like this and it just has like all of these really really nice like illustrations from the movie and information and it's just yeah i love it 
so yeah I just thought I'd quickly show you that one because I'm really happy that I got it and I'm definitely going to get the rest of them um, so that's the first one that I got then I also got this because it was £2 um, and this is just Mel Moth by Sarah Perry it's not really something I'd usually read I do own the Essex Serpent but I've never read it um, but I read the synopsis for this and because it was £2 as well I just thought that I had to get it um, my sister picked this up for me because she went into the pound shop and it was £2 there so if you want one then head to Poundland because that's where we're selling them. But this sounded like really really interesting because I'd seen it like before lockdown and then I asked my sister if she could see if they were still there and they were. Um, but this is the synopsis so pause if you want to read it but it just sounds kind of like gothic and dark and quite like scary and I just adore this cover um, and for £2 like how could I say no. So I got that and then I also got this from Depop. Um, so this is Tom Fletcher the Christmasaurus and yeah I always sell these in work kids love these um, so this is a middle grade and I think oh that's good I didn't know I had that I love it when there's a map in the book um, but I think this is signed too yeah so this is signed um, so I bought this off someone on Depop it's really good condition it's pretty much brand new it's really cheap but I'm trying to read more middle grades and I'm really enjoying middle grades at the moment and I thought well what's a really good festive middle grade um, and obviously I remembered this one from work and i think the sequel came out not long ago um so i thought i'd pick this one up because i want to read more middle grades it's almost christmas and yeah i'm quite excited for this one because loads of people do love this and it's just so pretty yeah i got that as well so those are all the books that i have gotten today and i'm very happy <laughs> but yeah i did say i was going to read some of adi larue now but i don't think i'm going to do that i think what i'm actually going to do is wrap some christmas presents while i listen to my audiobook of nevermore because i'm not exactly feeling in the actual physical reading mood right now so i think listening to my audiobook making some progress with that is probably the way to go and then maybe read some of Addy later on this evening so yeah that's my plan it's about half one at the moment so it's not too late in the day so i've still got plenty of time to read Addy and stuff this lighting is so awful <laughs> there will probably be a time lapse coming up of me wrapping christmas presents and getting festive so i'm excited So this is my wrapping paper I've got this year. I got this in the sale at work last year um, and this one from TK Maxx which is I love it's so pretty um, and then last year in the sale um, at work I got loads of these like gold ribbons and like nice gift bags and then yesterday I just bought some more like silvery tags and stuff and then I have some more bags there. Um, so yeah these are all my wrapping paper and stuff. Um, so I'm going to wrap my presents now. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Okay, so it's almost 8 p.m. and I haven't really vlogged much today. I just haven't really felt like vlogging, which is really bad considering this is a weekend vlog. Just haven't really felt like vlogging that much. I haven't physically read anything today either. I've just been like doing little bits here and there and then I spent like a lot of time journaling and then wrapping Christmas presents. But I have been listening to my audiobook for Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. So I'm now on page 320, so I only have like this much left and i'm really really enjoying it it's just a really fun book it's been making me like literally laugh out loud like it's just hilarious and i really love morrigan and i love jupiter as well and i just love everything about this it's just such like a light-hearted funny really like entertaining kind of story and i'm just i'm absolutely loving it yeah i don't have much of this left i think i will finish the last bit of this tomorrow yeah that's pretty much the only reading update i have i think now i'm gonna go and get like a bubble bath and i think i'm just gonna sit in the bath for a bit and read so i don't know if i will actually come on and physically vlog tonight at all yeah tomorrow should be better vlogging wise i should be able to vlog a lot more i don't really have anything exactly i need to do tomorrow 
so I should be able to just sit and properly talk to you guys and stuff and hopefully physically read because since yesterday I haven't done a lot of physical reading so yeah I will probably update you guys again tomorrow so it is sunday now my hair's wet obviously as you can see i need to go and dry it so it's currently 2 30 and i haven't really done a lot of reading today um i imported loads of footage this morning i went on a nice wintry walk as you will have seen and i did finish nevermore by jessica townsend so i've given this four stars i really really enjoyed this this was so fun it's just so like funny and like witty and i really loved um jupiter it was just i love him he's just got such a unique personality and i just adored him and then morrigan as well she's just really like quirky and like funny and i don't know i just i loved both of those characters and i just found the world really interesting the kind of ending was like so cool the way there was like this kind of little plot twist and i'm just really excited to see where this story is going to go so i'm very excited to pick up the next book in this series yeah four stars so i'm glad that i finished this because i've now finished two books which isn't obviously a lot but i mean you know it's something and then i i'm still only on page 55 of adi larue i did read a little bit of this last night i tabbed this as well while i was reading it but i need to go through all my tabs and like highlight and annotate um, I did do a little bit of that before, so I've like kind of gone through and done some annotations and stuff, but I still have all of these pages here that I need to go back through and kind of like highlight things and write notes and stuff. Yeah, I am planning to read some more of this today, um, and then I really want to finish Death Notes if I can. I'm on page 129 of Death Notes, so I'm not halfway through yet, um, but I mean I am hopeful I can maybe try to finish this today. I doubt it, but maybe <laughs> i do want to read fence volume one i think i can get through this today um because it's not too long so hopefully i can read that i'm planning to finish at least two books anyway so i really want to finish daphne and fence today um and then just make a good chunk of progress with this now i'm gonna go and dry my hair because yeah or should i should i just let it dry in <sighs> i don't know whenever i let my hair dry in it dries super fluffy but i guess it would save a lot of time do you know what i think i'll just let my hair dry in so yeah i'm gonna go and at least brush it and then i am gonna go and bake some cakes well not cakes i'm gonna go and bake some christmas like cookie biscuit things i made these like last year and they're just like really quick and easy like 
cookies and they're just really really nice basically like vanilla biscuits they're really nice i'm gonna make some christmas biscuits i'm gonna listen to some christmas music and then i think i'll come up and read and eat one of those but yeah i'm gonna go do some baking anyway so yeah i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> I've just had to pause that because I don't want to get done for copyright, but I have my Christmas music playing in a minute <laughs> and my cup of tea and then I'm going to make these Christmas cookies. So this is from a country living thing I got years ago, um, but I've made this recipe before and they're really nice. They're basically just vanilla cookies. Um, so I'm going to make that now. But yeah, we're going to make some Christmas cookies. So, yay. That's not roasting. Like frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a sample phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas Not roasting Like frost nipping at your nose Okay, so I've just rolled the dough into like a ball and I've set it in the fridge for an hour just to let it like set and stuff and then in an hour's time I'm going to roll it out and use my cookie cutters I need to clean the kitchen because it's a mess It's a little bit messy I was using some Heinz beans as a tripod Love that for me, but um, yes, I need to clean all this up now. Okay, so as you will have seen, I have made the actual dough for my Christmas cookies. I've just left it in the fridge for a bit. So while that's in the fridge setting, I'm gonna read Fence Volume 1, which I'm very, very excited about. I think I'm gonna love this, so I'm hoping that I do. So yeah, I'm gonna read this now. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long and I can finish it before I need to go and do the cookies. Gonna do that. <laughs> also, I got a package in the mail today and I wasn't expecting anything. And someone sent me something off my wish list again, which is so nice. So this is from Chloe. Um, and the note says, I absolutely adore your channel. I wanted to send you something for the holiday season, but I am always so scared to buy you a book in case you already have it. I hope you enjoy this from Chloe, which is just so lovely. And I'm just so happy again. Um, she got me the Studio Ghibli colouring book and I'm just... I'm so so happy because after I was colouring the other day I realised how much I enjoyed it and missed it and I added this to my wish list because I've recently started watching the Studio Ghibli movies and I'm obsessed especially with House Moving Castle and then I saw this on Amazon and I was like oh my god that's so cool and I added it to my wish list and Chloe got it for me which is so sweet so thank you so much Chloe because I really really appreciate it and I'm going to do some of this tonight I'm very very excited but yeah I'm going to read some of Fence Volume 1 now and then I will continue with some baking. Cookies are now in the oven. 
and they smell amazing but does anybody else eat the dough because i swear i ate half of the dough before even using the cookie cutters which is so bad now i feel really sick um but yeah they're cooking and they smell amazing <laughs> So it is nearly 12 o'clock, very very tired, please do ignore the big stack of pillows there. I took all my pillows off my bed because I'm going to go to sleep soon. I am going to wrap up this weekend reading vlog here, I finished four books in total so I'm really really happy that I finished these. I wish I'd made more progress on my other books but I'm still happy that I managed to finish one let alone four. I'm just going to quickly go through them. So I literally have just finished reading Death Note volume one and I really really enjoyed this. It was so good. I'm um, giving it four and a half stars. It was just such a fun read. I can't wait to read the rest of the volumes and I'm glad I finally read this because this is one of the most popular mangas that there is. I'd seen the movie before, the like live action one, but I've never watched the anime. So I plan to watch the anime as well to see what that's like. I'm, I'm pretty sure there is an anime for this. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this and I just think it's really interesting as well because it kind of has this sort of deeper hidden meaning of like morality and humanity, which I really liked as well. And kind of like the blurred lines between right and wrong and like just things like that and the main character obviously views morality and certain things in a different light to others and i just think it's really interesting that element as well but yeah i just really really enjoyed this so four and a half stars for this one then i also finished nevermore by jessica townsend so i believe i think i gave this one four stars also and i really love this and i'm glad that i finally read this so i can move on to the rest of the books in the series then next i finished fence volume one i gave this five stars and i absolutely adored it it was so fun and i'm so excited to pick up the other volumes in this series and then lastly i finished through the woods by emily carroll and i gave this five stars because this was just very dark and sinister and everything i love in a graphic novel or a short story and yeah i just i'm obsessed with this so if anyone has any recommendations for anything that's similar with a similar art style or anything that's kind of like dark and sinister vibes it's like a graphic novel then please do let me know because i'm looking for more that are similar to this because i just love this so yeah that concludes all of the books that i read during this weekend reading vlog i really hope that you guys did enjoy this reading vlog i managed to get a decent amount of reading done i do wish i'd managed to start shadow of night but i didn't i'm too tired i i can't even bring myself to read the first chapter and i really do wish i'd read more of Addie larue but yeah i still got through four books so i guess it's not all bad and i've had a nice little festive weekend of baking and wrapping christmas presents and things like that so it's been really really nice and yeah i really do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did then please do give it a big thumbs up and i really hope you're safe and well and having a lovely day or evening wherever you are and i'll see you guys in the next video bye